just purchased this um, Tweety Feed. It's a bird feeder with a camera in it. Um, it's really cool. It's got a great app to it. And when I first saw this, my son uh, texted it to me. It was like $170, almost $200. And I was like, I don't want to spend that much on a bird feeder. I'll just, you know, get a regular camera and just put it with the bird feeders I have, which I do. But this one's really cool. And I ended up getting it because my son later found it at TJ Maxx for $49. Um, and then it says compared at $170 on here. But the one that we saw um, was, you know, close to $200, if not more. So um, I just unboxed it and let's take a look at it. So if you see here, it's solar panel and it has the camera right there. So when they land here, you get a really good shot of them and you can do it vertical or horizontal. Um, it can be either powered by the solar panel or it does come uh, with power cord. Uh, it's a U uh, USB cord. Um, and then it also has this really nice bracket that you can put this on a tree. So this goes on the tree like this, just like they have in the picture here. Um, and it's pretty heavy duty. Um, and then the app, you download the app and um, it the app will detect motion and you can videotape or you can take pictures you can put um, an SD card in the camera also. Now what's really cool is that this turns so you can get to the panel here. This actually has the on off button here. You have to take this off, this little rubber thing off uh, to get to the on off button that's here. And this is also where the SD card goes. Um, and so <laughs> the SD card's just gonna give you some more memory. Um, and then make sure that you put this back on uh, for, you know, weather reasons. Uh, you don't want it, you don't want rain and things like that to get into the workings of the camera. So you can tilt it pretty much any way that you want. Um, I'm finding right now that it's good when it's just, you know, up and down that's um, not angled as much. But I am going to be playing with that. So when you're putting the food in, you can either screw down the lid. Um, I think I'd rather not have it screwed down because it'd just be a hassle to put the feed in every time you want. Uh, but this is pretty loose, so you might want to at least, you know, screw it down a little bit. So make sure that you've got a, a Phillips head screwdriver because um, this does come with, you know, quite a few things that need to be screwed in, such as this, if you want to do the bracket, um, your little perch needs to be screwed on too. See, it's got the screws on the bottom. That's where the perch goes right there. And it comes with really good instructions. I like these instructions. You know, you can read them. They're not the small font. They have pictures of everything. I mean, they even have a pattern here that you can put up on your tree to exactly where the screws need to go for your brackets, which is pretty cool. Um, especially I'm really lame at stuff like that. Um, so you basically, you download the app from here. So you scan this uh, code um, and then it will open up whatever um, type of app library that you have. So Apple or Android. And um, then you are going to turn on the bird feeder. Um, so you can get the app and um, you can get the app linked up to the actual camera. Um, I was just hesitating there um, for a moment because I just noticed my camera is noticing me moving. Um, it, the, so it's coming up on my phone letting me know that there's movement going on in front of the camera. So that's kind of cool. So you want to get a microchip. So you can save your video and your pictures. This was, has the capability up to um, 128. Um, what's it? 128 gig. And you just put it in there and push down. So it's flush. Okay. And now we should be able to save our pictures in our video. So you want to make sure that you put 
this plastic cover back on. Um, make sure that you leave this, you wanna put it on to where you can plug this back in. This will help protect your chip and it will help protect the on off device. And then this is pretty snug, so this is probably gonna be pretty well protected. And then you just push that back in. Now, when you get your SD chip, your microchip, you're gonna, it will have to be formatted. So um, the app will give you the option for that. So make sure that you format the chip. Um, now, when you get these microchips or any kind of chip, um, it also comes with this. Now, this is not a chip. This is for downloading. So when you take your chip out, you put it into this end here. And then this is how you can put it into your computer to read it. Most modern computers have um, slots that are these thin little slots that you can put this in. And this is like a drive. And, um, and it allows you to read it. Um, some computers have small micro SD card uh, readers, um, but others just have these larger um, slits, and that's what this is for. Um, they also have other um, converters that you can put this into uh, to read your card also. Okay, so supposedly Mr. Martini made me a little perch here. Ah, perfect. You can turn it in any direction you want. You mean you can turn it horizontally in different directions? Oh, that's nice. Very cool. Oh, this is the perfect place for it on this cut.